Hi everybody. So a couple of weeks ago I told you about my plan to ditch the CD jewel case and move to these plastic wallets instead. It's time for an update. So in my original video I mentioned how I was just kind of running out of space really and I wanted to free up some space so that I can buy more CDs, more box sets and not just cram this room absolutely full. And I got quite a reaction, as I expected really, I thought I might. And there was a whole range of comments which were great and uh, I expect I'll probably get some similar ones again. But there was things like, there was, there was some people who, who were saying, I've done this and I don't regret it at all. There was one person who said that they'd done it and really regretted it and had switched back, that was interesting to see. There was comments along the lines of, uh, well what about the resale value of your CDs? Well, to me that's only really important if I'm planning on selling them and I don't have any intention of selling any of my CDs ever, so I'm not too bothered about that. There were comments saying, well just buy more shelves. Well, that's an option and I could get more shelves in here. I've come from just a few months ago in a previous house, a much smaller room than this that was really crammed and it was quite claustropho claustrophobic. I don't want this to end up the same. I want this to have space. I, want, I don't want this to just be a bigger room that gets equally as crammed. I want space for the music to breathe when I play it. So I want to avoid more shelves if I possibly can. So how's it gone? Well, first of all, there were certain items that have been exempted from this process. My Beatles CDs. Beatles, McCartney, Lennon, George, Ringo. They are not a part of this process at all. I just can't bring myself to do it. I've also got, there's a few other CDs where I've just thought, no, I'm, I'm not doing those. And often it's because they're, uh, maybe visually, it's a pattern that I've been used to on my shelves for years and I don't want to change that. So the Nick Drake albums, for example, that's something that really visually I've come to know on my shelves. I don't want to lose that. There's my Cure CDs as well. Again, that's a very visual pattern that I've seen on my shelves for years and I don't want to lose that. There's also a couple of albums that for sentimental reasons I wanted to keep as they were. This belonged to my mum uh, and when she passed away, I, I, this somehow ended up in my collection. So I don't want to change that. And this is a great album of movie music by the London Symphony Orchestra. And this was my granddad's as well. So I want to keep those just for sentimental reasons. So I started off with a packet of 100 of these wallets. I gave it a go to see how I felt and I was pretty comfortable. I felt I've got no regrets. I could immediately see the space that I was saving. So I bought another 500 of these and I have now transferred nearly 600 CDs over. The empty jewel cases, they just got piled up and piled up. I didn't want to just throw those away. They've gone, apart from ones that were obviously broken, which went in the bin, They've gone to my local record shop, Revolution Records in Selby, and they're picking through all the best cases, and they're using those to uh, sell their second-hand CD. So I'm really pleased that uh, my CD collection is going to sort of spread and uh, and multiply throughout the land, if you like. So I'm quite pleased about that. So let's have a look at how I've stored these. Uh, another comment that people had was that, well, you're going to need some index cards. You, you, you're going to need to be able to find these. I absolutely agreed with that comment. Uh, but these wallets give you an, a way of doing that themselves. So let me show you uh, a, a couple of these that I've done. I've got these boxes. One thing that I found pretty quickly was that these wallets on their own on the shelf just slip and slide and don't stay where you want them to stay. You've got to, you've got to contain them. You've got to hold them back. So... In here, there are 78 CDs. There's plenty of room for more. Now, if I compare that with one where I've just put some George and Ringo CDs in, I've got 21 in there, and that's pretty much full if I want to leave through it. This, I've got 78 in, and I can get quite a few more in yet. And the top label of the wallets, I can use as index cards, and I can write on whichever ones I want. So this, for example, this is a section here of... Uh, just sort of various genres and types. So I've got I've got jazz CDs, but you can see that I've labelled them Miles Davis, Charles Mingus, Oscar Peterson, etc. I've then got a uh, I've got a folk section in here uh, with some Fairport Convention classical, uh, James Bond and movie soundtracks. Uh, we've now got now albums and compilations and Christmas albums. So I've got a nice little sort of box of uh, sort of various genres there. 
And if I go to the one that's first alphabetically, again, you can see I've got about 80 in there. That's plenty. That's four times as many seed as, as what I could fit CDs in the same area. And you can see that I've got them labeled so I can go straight to the Beach Boys, the Bee Gees, Blur, Bowie, Kate Bush, etc. all on there. So I've got eight of those boxes and as you can see, they fit nicely, four each on one shelf of my Billy bookcase from Ikea. And I can fit all these 600 CDs very, very easily and a whole lot more in this area here where I would have got about 150 CDs before. And I've genuinely got no regrets at all about this. It was an interesting process just taking the CDs out of the cases and putting them into these wallets because there were certain occasions where, for example, Radiohead Kid A, when I removed the uh, the sort of back plastic case, the, the case with the spindles that the CD sits on, I found on this one there was a whole other booklet that I never knew existed because it had been hidden behind uh, a black plastic case for 25 years or how long this album's been out. So I was finding things that I didn't even know I had as part of this. And there's an awful lot of photographs as well where they're... They're covered up by those back cases that have the spindles on. When you remove those, you've actually got new artwork that you didn't realise that you had. <clears throat> In many cases, I wasn't too bothered about uh, hype stickers on CDs. Um, if it's one that just sort of says, contains the singles and lists a few singles, I'm not too bothered because I know what songs are on the album. But where I could, uh, where I was able to, I was even able to peel off a lot of those stickers. And for example, on this Laura Marling album, this sticker was on the front of the CD. I was able to take that off and put that pretty much perfectly on there. And I've done that with an awful lot of these CDs. So I've been able to sort of keep, preserve the kind of look of the front of the album as well, which has been good. So let's have a look at what space this is saved on my shelves. Because ultimately, that's the only reason why I've done this in the first place. So on my Billy bookshelf, I've cleared out two of the complete shelves, which had maybe about 150 CDs in. They've now got all eight of these boxes that currently have got about 600 CDs in and room for, I would say, probably at least 150 more minimum just within those two shelves. I've then cleared up another shelf and a half in that Billy bookcase. And one of the shelves, I'm not using it particularly efficiently at the moment. If you were going to look at how efficient space has been used, but it's an, a nice kind of area of memories. I've got things in there like uh, that Adam and the Ants album is the first cassette that I ever got given for Christmas. The Eurythmics one is the first album that I ever bought with my own money. So those tapes are sort of 40 years old and very special memories for me. I've got some of them, some of the McCartney three things that I was uh, given by Capitol Records very kindly. And of course there is a very special envelope there that's uh, taking pride of place. And I've got another shelf below that that's now only half full. So I've freed up quite a bit of room just in that Billy bookcase. But how about these shelves behind me? You might have noticed I'm at a slightly different angle to normal on this occasion. That's because I've been kind of I've been kind of saving that side for later. Uh, so as well as all of that space that I saved on the Billy bookcase, uh, I'm now just going to move this around a little bit, and we can see. <laughs> That on this bookcase here I've probably saved nearly half of it. Uh, I've got one big shelf there that'll fit big box sets in. That'll probably cover me for the next few years of John Lennon, Ultimate Mixers, Bob Dylan bootleg series. That's going to keep me going a long time is just that section there. But then I've got another one, two, three, four shelves. Let's move you down. Down at the bottom there which I can now fit an awful lot in. Those shelves are movable, so I can fit bigger things, smaller things in, whatever I wish. I've got a nice little space over there, which I'm gonna fill with Bob Dylan box sets. So I've probably saved about half of one of these bookshelves, as well as all that space that I saved in the Billy bookshelf. So it's gonna keep me going for years, to be honest. I bought a few more CDs last week. I immediately switched those over into these wallets so that I think I bought four CDs uh, and instead of four jewel cases going into the boxes, four of these went in taking up hardly any space. I've kept a few of the jewel cases just in case. You know, if any of the ones that I'm keeping get damaged, I will have some spares. But other than that, I sent 500, as I said, off to Revolution Records in Selby uh, so that they can use them. Something else that I've not been changing is mainly my CD singles. You know these single type boxes 
Uh, they're very thin anyway, so I wouldn't be saving as much space by changing these. But also, the way that the front cover sort of turns round and comes to here means that these front covers are too wide to go in those wallets. And whilst I said I'm generally not bothered about resale value too much, the one things that are particularly rare, and you never know if I did get bored of them one day that I might sell, could be my CD singles because there's an awful lot of B-sides on there that, that you might not find anywhere else. So they may well have particular value that I could be interested in. So I've got hundreds of these still that uh, I'm not going to be changing over. So I am pretty much at the end of the process for now of changing these over. I've still got a load of spare wallets for other things that I decide to transfer over or for new CDs that I buy. But for now, I've, I've freed up a heck of a lot of space in this room so that I don't have to buy new shelving and cramp the room. And I'm really happy with it. Regrets, I have none. Thank you very much. I'm happy that I've still got everything that's there on the CD. I've got the front cover. I've got the stickers generally where they were there, where they, where they came off okay. I've still got all the back cover. And inside, I've still got the CD. So, you know, I've still got everything here. I'm not too worried about the fact that it's no longer in that original jewel case. So many of my CDs have been bought from eBay, uh, Music Magpie, which a lot of you will know is like a second-hand CD service. They'll have replaced the jewel case anyway. It won't have been the original. Uh, the ones on eBay, a lot of them were cracked. They were old. They were scuffed. So I'm, I don't feel I'm losing out too much here by getting rid of old, scuffed, cracked parts of my collection and replacing them with something nice and clean. I'm very happy with it. So let me know your thoughts on this. Is this something that you've done and you're glad that you've done? Have you done it and regretted it? Is it something you're interested in but you're not quite ready to make that leap yet, which I wasn't for a while? Or do you still think I'm absolutely mad, stupid and crazy? Which again was some of the comments on my original video about this. Let me know. I would love to hear from you. And uh, I'm going to go and fill these shelves in now. I'm not going to leave them blank like that because that would be quite a dull look. Uh, so I'm going to bring some of the things over from a bookcase and fill those up so they look a bit more interesting. And I will see you again very soon. Here's some other videos that you might be interested in. Cheers. Bye bye.